Welcome back, kids. It's time for another lesson. What are we learning today? Money word problems. Yes, I'm sure you remember us doing word problems. Today, all our word problems are going to be about money. So, there are steps that we're going to use. Let's look at what the steps are. Let's do our first example. Let's get started. Sarah has five rand. Her sister has three rand. How much money do they have altogether? There are three things that we need to remember. The first thing is to circle the numbers that will make our sum. What are the two numbers that we need to circle? Five rand and three rand. Well done. The next thing we need to remember is to circle the word that tells us whether it's a plus sum or a minus sum. Now, which word tells us? That's right, the word altogether. Altogether means it's going to be a plus sum. The next step is to write out our word problem. The next step is to write out our sum. Let's do that. The first number is 5 rand. 5 rand plus or minus. Yes, altogether told us that it's a plus sum. Plus 3 rand and our equal sign. So, can you work this out very quickly? What is 5 rand plus 3 rand? Well done, 8 rand. The last and final thing we do with our word problem is have a written answer. Our written answer is going to answer the question, how much money do they have altogether? And what will we say? They had eight rand altogether. Let's try our next example. Let's read together. Dad has ten rand. He bought me a chocolate for six rand. How much money does he have left? Let's remember our steps. The first step is to circle the two numbers that will be a part of our sum. The first number is 10 rand. The second number is 6 rand. Well done. One of the words in the word problem tells us if this is a plus or a minus. In this word problem, the word left tells us that this is a minus sum. Let's get cracking on our sum. What would we write? Can you tell me? 10 rand minus 6 rand. Well done. Equals. Can you do that sum for me? 10 rand minus 6 rand. How much would we have? 4 rand. And the final step, our written answer. What would we write? The question is, how much money does he have left? Let's see what we're going to write. He had four rand left. Well done. For the next two examples, you are going to write them out. Pause the video and try to do them on your own. So, Let's read them together. Mom has 12 rand. She bought me a new pen for 7 rand. How much money does she have left? So, you are going to write this down and pause your video now. Okay, we're back. So, step 1. Circle your two numbers that are part of your sum. That would be 12 rand and 7 rand. Which word tells us whether it's a plus or minus? That's right. Left tells us that it's a minus sum. So, you check your work. This is the sum. 12 rand minus 7 rand equals. Do you have that answer? That's right. The answer is 5 rand. 
The final step is our written answer. Let's see. She had five rand left. So we answered the question, how much money does she have left? And that is, she had five rand left. Okay, it's the last one. It's time for you to write this out. I'll read it for you first. My granny gave me 10 rand. My dad gave me 5 rand more. How much money do I have altogether? It's time for you to write it out and pause your video now. Okay, so we're back and you did your example. Let's see. Step number one. Circle the two numbers that make our sum. Circle the word that tells us whether it's plus or minus. Now we write our sum. What would our sum be? 10 rand altogether tells us that it's a plus sum. Plus 5 rand equals. So what answer did you get? 10 rand plus 5 rand equals 15 rand. Great job, guys. What is our written answer? The question we had to answer was, how much money do I have altogether? I have 15 rand altogether. Well done. I'm really proud of you. I hope you had fun learning about money word problems. Why don't you try making some of your own or watch the video again if you don't understand? I hope you have fun and good luck to everybody. Shh. <sharp inhale>